So Petra, I'm going to try to put all these on uh, Facebook as well, or um, YouTube as well. Um, so that's why I'm recording some of them. <coughs> okay, today is lower body focus, as most of you know. Hi, Nick. How are you? And Petra, Lescaber, um, who else? Oscar, what's happening? Thank you all for being here. Good job. I dig it. So upper body focus. So I don't know about you guys. So what I've been doing is, um, let's see, let's back in it. So we go upper body Thursdays. I actually ran yesterday. I know, can you believe it? Um, and that was Wednesday. And then we did our upper body on Tuesday. And I rode on, got on some dirt on Monday and Sunday. So today I'm sore. And looking forward to tomorrow's rest day. Hi, Jeanette. You love the shirt? Thank you. You know what? They're for sale. If you want one, just uh, just uh, give me a holler. Jim tested Trail Proven, baby. Uh, they're they're um, super good quality because they're Under Armors. So I can get you a shirt if you want a shirt. Just email me. Info at Enduro MTB Training. I'd love to send one out to you. Boss, what's happening? Okay, let's get rolling. We're a couple minutes in, so um, again, questions, make sure you ask me some questions, comments, leave some comments about anything really, um, so that I can make this better. Uh, today we get to meet as a group here at the gym to determine what's going to be happening here in the next week or two. So hopefully that means there is some real work uh, to happen for me which um, I'm excited about because uh, by then it'll be eight weeks, two whole months with no work. <laughs> uh, that's why I come here, you guys, because I just need to get away a little bit from the house, you know, from my loving family that I love very much that drive me bananas, who I'm sure most of you can. Hi, Johnny, Frank. Make sure you guys uh, like my for racing over on Insta and Facebook. Um, we're doing some collaboration secretly. <gasps> Did I just say that? Anyway, uh, so let's get started. Little warm up. Um, let's get rolling. And then lower body focus. We got three circuits of three exercises today, followed up at the end, like usual, with some myofascial stretching. You need a band, your ball, um, perhaps a light dumbbell or something that's weighted. Um, around the probably five to 10 range or not at, at all. Remember, you have to determine what you do as it relates to your overall experience. So if you're a beginner, maybe you only do two sets of all this uh, and you do no, no weight, that's great. Um, but weights can be a big, large soup can. It could be a water bottle filled up with water. Uh, it could be a gallon jug filled up with sand. It's all up to you, right? So you determine that. So a ball, uh, a band, a medium band, and that's it. Something to put your leg up on, like an ottoman or a chair or something along those lines. Um, I'm going to use my little weight bench because it's right there. Okay, so right into a little bit of a warm up. Let's get aware of our posture right out of the gate because that's most important by getting tall. Okay, think about your spine decompressing almost and lengthening by getting chin tucked, head back, so it's out of the front of the space, head back. We go a smidge of pel pelvic tilt just to get that under, to get our sacrum aligned. Remember the sacrum is the uh, basement of your spinal building, okay? So we tuck it a little bit and we're here. Okay, we relax our arms, knees are soft. That is your postural alignment, okay? That is what you need to be thinking about this entire time that we do this. Um, so we're always working away from each other in opposition, tailbone, crown of the head. Okay. So from there, get your position. We're going to march, <coughs> marching. And then in a second, we'll add arms forces us to pay attention to this. You can tell behind me that I'm not wavering much. So no wavering shouldn't be doing this. So you're really working on, just hinging through the hips, 
and you're really working on that axial extension, okay, that posture line, posture awareness, and almost like little prancing ponies with the toes too, so you're pushing down and then you're catching, prancing ponies I call it, highly technical jargon. <clears throat> and then from here we're going to go up and out, up and out, again, just to get the blood out of the periphery, the legs and the arms, or excuse me, into the periphery, legs and the arms, out of the gut or the core area where it's been sitting typically when you're not doing anything active. Out, up, front, out, front, and then up, okay? Breathing. Remember, we're going to breathe just a normal breath cycle. And since we're not utilizing heavy weights, you really don't need to start to work into a heavy weight type of pattern. Okay, check it out. Should have a little bit of a hi, Val. Hi, Mike. <laughs> or is that Mary? That's Mary. Okay. Yours, Anthony. What's up? From here, let's go down to uh, hands and knees. Gonna do a little horse stance action. I want one leg, one arm. I want you to stay focused on the fact that my lower back is not rotating, okay? And my leg in its maximal extension with my glute doesn't go higher than below parallel. Or I'll just say it doesn't go higher than parallel. So working on concentrating where your pelvis is, still work on our axial extension, arms forward, reaching back, reach and reach. So opposition reaches, my fingertips and my toes or even my heel press back is working in opposition to each other. One thing I say is if you're in your mom's <coughs> white carpeted living room and you had a glass of wine put right here on your pelvis it would not fall over you know what i'm saying she's got all the plastic on the couches and things just kidding that's old school that shows my age right there okay good let's do some circles forward <coughs> small ones here working into some mediums working into some big ones What's up, MTB Bone, BS, what is that, BSW Floors, Roth, what's up? Backwards, same thing, big, backwards big, backwards medium, and then backwards small. Shake them out, and let's go. Okay, first roll. Let's grab our band, whichever one you choose. If you have a circular band, you can put it around your ankles or your knees, whichever kind you have. So put it on the ground, step on it equally, stand up. Okay. All we're going to do is sidestep and sidestep. The thing I don't want you to do is this. Okay. It's a step with the leg to activate the lateral hip stabilizers while my pelvis and my spine are staying stable and still. Oh man, this thing's too hard. Holy smoke. If you want to make that a little easier, you just step off a little bit, go wider in your feet at the bottom. And you're going to get those lateral hip stabilizers starting to burn. If you want to get a little frisky because it's too easy, you can go and hold a bicep curl. Oh man, first set on these. Ooh, perfect. And I'm pre-fatigued. Then we're going to go grab like a I don't know, somewhere in the neighborhood of a 10 to 15 pounder, I bet, or whatever is good for you. Holding here, I'm going to step back into a lunge and rotate towards the same side. Rotate same side. Remember rules of lunging, middle of kneecap stays over second toe, not fall in like that. And then sideways. Got it kind of a 90-90. It's okay to go short, by the way, as long as my front heel stays down. The knee going over the toe is okay. As long as my heel stays down. 
Okay, work on turning that torso. So I'm turning my chest over that leg. Let me say hi to some people here. Eason, Matt. <laughs> Let's go three more. Turning. And good. Okay. Swiss ball jackknife, grab that Swiss ball, hands on the floor, feet are on the ball. Good posture to start, pulling the knees in. It's okay to go from neutral spine to rounded spine. Neutral, rounded, use your abs to hold up your legs and to help your legs. Do the work in this part and this part, but you're still doing a crunch move. And rest, good job. Okay, quickie rest. My heart rate got to about 75% on that. Senior Bentley. Hey buddy. Mountain bike Jose, CC Chip, Live for Adventure. Hey y'all. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. There's, there's light at the end of the, the tunnel, no doubt. So, uh, hey, Fel, hey, how's it going? Second set coming up. Might be a little bit of a commotion in the background, but we'll see here. So we're gonna go back to those lateral band steps. You guys have uh, been around, know I talk about water. Um, make sure you're getting your water in, people. <clears throat> oh, breathing. Okay, back down to 52. Let's go. Lateral band steps. This mic keeps messing up with me. Sorry. All right, from here, side to side. Whoa, hello. Out of the picture. Knees are just a little soft on this, and you're sitting down just a smidge. So you're not here, you're not here, you're just a, a little. And notice nothing in my lumbar spine changes, nothing in my posture changes. Oh, burning. Good job. Oh, golly. Hopefully these are burning you. Maybe you're a little sore today too. And this should be making you feel good waking up this morning, starting another day. Thank you God for that. Okay, switching. Matt, you're funny. Uh, back lunge with dumbbell torso rotations. I'm gonna go up. Remember, if you want to go heavier on these, it's up to you. Back lunge torso. Back lunge torso. Turn the chest. The sternum turns on top of a straight pelvis. My pelvis is not diving back or turning either. Head and pelvis are facing the same direction. Torso is turning under the head and on top of the pelvis. Now, if you feel like you have good form on this, pick it up. Notice my tempo is the same and it's consistent and everything is ending at the same time, upper body, lower body. Stop, good. Right to a Swiss ball jackknife. This way, this time to mix it up. <clears throat> Don't forget too, you can make it easier by putting your more shins on and by going more over your hands. It's harder by having more feet and being your hands being further away from you. 
if they're further away from you, then you've got to hold that position. That's the hard part. Because when I'm here, when my legs are here, I'm pulling my hands back to the ball so I don't move. If I don't, I go like this. Oh, that's hard. <sighs> yeah. Good job. Okay, check your heart rate. I just briefly got into 81. See that? What are you doing, buddy? Miss you there, homie. Okay, resting. We got third set coming up. Also, I'm going to be testing today, at the end of this actually, a new home gym that looks about this size. Okay, it looks like kind of a square. <clears throat> and the feeling of it, you can attach kind of like a TRX anywhere in your door frame. But the feeling of it is, it actually feels like a cable machine. It actually feels like I'm doing a real cable press because the tension remains the same. And it's like this big, it's perfect timing for this product. So look for that because it might just be a good thing for all of us to have at home because we don't know what the future is. Plus, um, you can add little resistance knobs on that thing and uh, make it harder, which is kind of cool. So a little more rest. We're going to third set coming up. Hi, Rob, D Smith. Okay, questions, anything right now before we hit our third set? I did not repeat, the, I did not say the product, Matt, yet. I'm going to wait until after I have this meeting today and I will let you know. I will do a post on it. Um, so you'll know. You'll be the first to know about this actually in the mountain bike community, which is pretty sick. So stay tuned. Okay, last one. I'm back down to 50 heart rate. Where's my band? Get your band. Let's do this uh, lateral steps. Hide this way. Step on it. This for me is about, would be considered, excuse me, a hard band. So this is kind of challenging here. Side to side, come on. We have to have strong stabilizers no matter the sport. If you're on my golf channel right now watching, we know the importance of lateral stabilizers, but it's no different because we're training to be better athletes who happen to do the fill in the blank sport that you love and want to get better at. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, you're like golf, what the heck is he talking about? I've been doing golf fitness for over 20 years. It's been a sport, uh, a niche of mine for a long time. So kind of a little bit of bread and butter, but I've been mountain biking for longer. Old school, since mountain bikes were invented. Okay, back to the back lunge. I'm going up again. So I'm gonna go from 10, first set, 15 seconds to 25 on the last one. Obviously we're getting some, uh, some biceps, some gun work on this. Hi Adrian, back, turn to the front. Whoa, back, turn to the front. Start medium. Whoops. Breathe in. Okay, we're gonna do like we did last set. We're gonna pick it up. Ready? Pick it up nice and smooth. Smooth transition. And it's almost like the trunk and torso and dumbbell are in a smooth rhythmic motion all at the same time. Breathe in. Okay, good job. What's up, HR? Dan Dick 223. Okay, last one, jackknife. 
we're doing it straight on now. Come on, challenge it. Think about your abs. You should not feel this in your lower back. You should not feel this in your lower back. The all abs, quads, some hip flexors, shin muscles, triceps, shoulder girdle, two. Yeah. Okay, rest. We'll move on to. Uh... Okay, John, MMA, what's happening? Questions, comments, let's go. How are we doing over here in Facebook land? Good, good. <sighs> Breathe. Breathing through here. Not through here solely. Definitely not through here first. Absolutely not here at all, because your order goes one, two, three. Okay, that's the order. One thing you can do if you don't know if you do your breathing right is typically laying on your backs to start going one hand on belly, one on chest, knees bent. <clears throat> and when you breathe in, you want to see which one starts first. The top hand should not st start first. The bottom hand should start first. So you would go, okay? So be in that order, okay? Hi, W and Ad, Christian. Okay, so there's your breathing. Little quick, easy breathing tip. Now, Romanian deadlift, so some kind of appropriate heavy-ish uh, dumbbell or apparatus that you're using or bars if you have it or even weight plates highway um, use whatever you have that you can utilize i'm going to go 25. remember the romanian deadlift is all about hip hinge mountain bikers golfers so shoulders width neutral spine working the crown of my head uh, um, head to the ceiling still working to elongate my spine pushing my weight back so that the dumbbells end up about upper shin or knees. And really, it, it is based off of where you can bend to without changing your spine angle. So if I get to here and all of a sudden I start to round, you got to stop, okay? I'm going to go to where I can because I can get this low. So we're down and we're up. Weight's back, okay? Think about your shoulder girdles as what's holding your dumbbells so that you're not sagging you're here, they're taut. The shoulder blades are taut. Hinging at the hips, you're folding your body in half. Straight on. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Your glutes are responsible for this move right here, right? There, so you should squeeze those booties. We work on J-Blow booties around here. I want all my clients to have J-Lo booties. Insurance is optional. Ha ha. Okay, Whew. little Romanian deadlift, dumbbells. Quinones, we're gonna go uh, prone cobra with overhead reaches. You ready for these? Make those shoulders burn a little bit more. Then you'll get a sense of what I was talking about of using the shoulder girdles to hold the dumbbells for your Romanian deadlift. So we're gonna go here, okay? So chin is tucked. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, and then I'm gonna reach up. And back down, squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep the shoulder blades together. Let the arms come up, let them come apart. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep your legs down on this. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep your head neutral. If you have a shoulder injury, you're probably noticing that one side of that shoulder injury side might be lower than the other. That's okay. You got to brain work it to try to find that range. And you may not be able to, honestly. And that's okay. Stop. Good job. You will feel that all the way through the spine muscles as well, just so you know. JN, Gerard, amen. Okay. Swiss ball, hamstring curl. 
microphone is giving me fits today. Grab the ball. I'm sure we've all done these plenty of times. Okay, so we're here. <coughs> Want to make it harder? Go here. Want to make it even harder? Go here. Regardless, your shoulder blades still stay pinned into the floor. Make sure that <coughs> you're hinging at the hips. Now this is a hamstring dominant hinge, whereas the Romanian deadlift is a glute dominant hinge. You should feel that in hammies, calves, a little core to hold you still, shoulder girdles, because they're working to hold you still. Again, if you want to get frisky, as long as you don't move, you're up. And relax. Okay, resting. JP. Hi, Jeb. How are you, buddy? Resting. All right. Any questions, comments? Hi, Oi. You got the troops going. I love it. Yes, sir. They're working hard over here. Resting, resting. What's up, NBA? Okay. 30 seconds here, back on it. DSP. Sorry, I keep fiddling with my mic. My mic, one, two, one, two. Okay, you guys ready? Back to Romanian deadlifts. <clears throat> you want to do eight reps heavy or 15 reps lighter? Don't forget, you know what we just talked about, butt back, down along the shins, back is flat, squeeze the glutes, shoulder blades engage. You should feel it easier to hold this up here. Think about holding your dumbbells from your shoulders, not your hands. Just like you'd think about mountain biking from your shoulders, not your hands almost. Almost. There's an asterisk on that. Once we get back into the gym, start doing heavier weights because that's what we want. I don't know about you, but man, it's hard not weight training. But I've been surprised by how these Tuesday, Thursday workouts have sustained my body. Although I am carrying more body fat than usual because I'm not getting four to five days in the gym. Maybe you see that too. Sayuldar. Back to prong cobras with overhead reaches. Okay. Head is neutral. Squeezing, reaching. Squeeze. Reach, try to squeeze a penny between your shoulder blades, especially down low. It's easy to squeeze a penny up high. Squeeze it down low between your shoulder blades. <clears throat> Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <clears throat> Okay, hammies. Now we're gonna do a different hamstring curl. We're gonna do a high hip hamstring curl. Okay, we already talked about arm position, palms up. <clears throat> now we're gonna go hips up and my quads and my torso are gonna stay in the same plane, so to speak. It's gonna change the, the way this thing feels all together. If we need to go back down to the other one that we did, totally fine. Rip. Man. Tell that fatigue personally in my legs after the last five days. What up, Kyle? Dodie Penny. Hold on, I'm going to work on my microphone again
those back phones. All right. What else? Facebook. Somebody talk to me over there. Hi, Val. Did I say good morning yet? For those of you who do have a gym, don't forget to check out my new uh, my new website, EnduroMTVTraining.com, where your choices are clearly laid out uh, based off of what you need, uh, including the membership where you get fresh content just released for my members who are um, part of my monthly membership, a new program this week. So you're always getting constant um, material with the membership. Uh, the standalone products are great too. Everything's included. Um, they're pretty nice. And I'm working on something else at the moment. Also thinking to kids to um, the, hopefully once the gym opens to still be able to do this on Tuesday, Thursdays. Uh, but unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to do it for free anymore because I've got to start paying for this again. Uh, fortunately, the landlord has given us on not paying rent while we haven't been here. So once it's back on, but we'll figure it out. No biggie. Who else we got? Broker, Ulick, you, Yule Chess. Okay, last set coming up. Romanian deadlifts. Go a little heavier than you did last set. So I'm going from 25 to 35. Still though, this is still pretty light overall. Considering for me as to what I normally do. So concerning again for you, what you have uh, capacity to do now. Also, and I didn't mention this, sorry, but you can use your bands on this as well. Uh, just using the bands underneath your feet. Kind of like we did with the first exercise. Okay, I'm gonna count. You guys do what we've already talked about. Two sets. Just make sure your butt's going back. Normal breathing pattern. And yes, you should feel this if you're doing any kind of weight here in your upper shoulders too, especially since we've been doing that prone cobra after. I think this is eight. I got two. Last one. Good job. And then we're going pronies. I'm gonna go this way this time. <clears throat> okay, start with the squeeze up, hold it, reach around, back down, squeeze them again and down. Come on, gang. Two more. If you need to quit, that's fine. Yep, yep. Ten. Good job. Back over. Now, this set, I'm going to give you the choice for your hamstring curls. I'm going to do half and half. We're going to go six. Sorry for my white legs. It is what it is, too bad. Huh. Been stuck inside for two months. I think that was six. And then this one's a six. Six, good job. Okay, rest. Whew, that was good. All right, one more round coming up. This time we're gonna go side planks with reach unders. We're gonna do a single leg squat with one leg up. Okay, so here. And then we're gonna go a sacrum crunch. Sacrum crunch. What am I using to monitor my heart rate? Good question. We actually have um, 
my zone here. So I have a my zone strap that shows up on a TV because we do uh, group classes here. So I get to cheat a little bit. But uh, Brew Weasel, hello, buddy. Five voices, but basically you can use any Harvey monitor um, that you'd like. Um, whatever works, you know, even the Apple iWatch um, works. Isn't that funny? I said Apple iWatch. <laughs> Who says that? You know what that is. Uh, okay, side planks with reach unders. Side plank position, feet stacked. <coughs> Elbows always under shoulder. From here, we're gonna reach under. <laughs> Trying to reach as far as you can. Head goes with you. Keep your hips in alignment. Should feel that in your left oblique and uh, shoulder for sure, downside shoulder. <coughs> hip, left hip in my case. Yeah, switch. Yeah, right. I hope you've been doing this. That's the fun part about Instagram and Facebook because I can call out my clients who I know their Facebook or Instagram handles. Make sure they're doing this their their work whether it's one of the downloadable programs or even here, <coughs> personal coaching, they still got accountability. <coughs> this is my weaker shoulder side, so it's a little harder for me on this side. <coughs> yeah. Okay, oh. last one, sacrum crunch. Pay attention on peeps, now watch. I'm gonna sit tall. I'm gonna grab my knees. I'm tucking in my shirt so you can see what I want you to do. We're starting flat. Okay, my head is neutral also. And then I'm gonna start by, if my pelvis was a bucket, it's dumping water out a little bit. I want you to dump it out as much as it can get. That's our first move from here. We tuck, so we hit the sacrum, a little more higher on the sacrum, a little higher on the sacrum, a little higher on the sacrum, and then you can pull yourself back up to where you're trying to dump water out the front, okay? This is pelvis proprioception. Tuck, 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 lots of abs here. Pull back up with biceps, okay? Tuck, 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 lots of biceps. Most of you will have a hard time doing this. But it's not good to tuck the pelvis or round the spine or do a crunch move. Well, kind of generally, that's actually mostly correct. But we're doing this for a specific reason, and that's for your brain to connect with your ability to use your sacrum. Okay, because as we get better at this, you should be able to go all the way down, segment by segment, all the way up segment by segment, segment by segment, segment by segment, okay? So this is how you get into that position. So if your back gets tight, this is a great one to do before you go to bed, even just 10 reps, and when you wake up even, okay? So good stuff to do to help start to understand how to articulate and to use your in a posterior and anterior uh, type of um, movement pattern. Okay, drinky. Don't forget y'all, you can go over to Facebook and you can watch these recordings if you happen to have, happen to miss them for one. I wanna do this workout say later when you get back from work. If you have Facebook, you can run over there and you can find the recordings. Um, they'll also be right on my homepage as well. So you have that option. <clears throat> I'm recording and I'm gonna start putting up I'll put up the last three on YouTube as well so that you have those uh, to work from. Powder, Rena, what's up? Okay, number three, let's go. Side plank reach and just starts with my weak side. Okay. 
This also, by the way, is my turning to the right riding is my harder side because it's my weaker shoulder and my weaker abs side because of my appendectomy, my burst appendix surgery that I had. So you'll always notice that when you have a surgery, I didn't have one in my right shoulder, but it probably needs it. But whenever you have surgery, you're going to have muscle atrophy and you're going to have a neurological apathy as well, if you will, as it relates to being able to control that area. Like my left knee has had two surgeries. So my, my quad is, uh, my mic is cracking. Sorry. <clears throat> you can hear this over there. Let me know if that clears up anyone on Insta. <clears throat> so my left quad isn't as big, never will be. And it's a little weaker than my right. Okay, last one and then we're gonna go sacrum crunch is it better when I'm up here my mic somebody on insta Whew. flat feet sitting tall tuck round it pull it up tuck it round it pull it up tuck it round it pull it up Whew. should feel lots of abs right now you should be working real, real hard. Okay, back up. Oh yeah, burnage. Light fuzzy sound. Okay, I have one of those external mics on my. On my uh, iPad, and my real mic is hooked up to my phone where I'm recording, and Facebook is on over there on my laptop. Hi, Diane. Okay, <clears throat> mm. real quick, tell me if this gets better, if you can hear me better or not. Insta. Okay, third set, make sure you're drinking. I unplugged that mic, so let me know one of you is. Questions, Facebook, how you guys doing over there? Holla. Better, okay, cool, thank you. No more external mic. Okay, last one. Remember, we're doing some myofascial stretches at the end that you can use every day, so please don't go yet after we're done with this. Side planks with reach. Rip. I'm counting, you work. Count your own. Just say, I can, just cause I say, do what you can. <laughs> that does not mean do as little as you can. Uh, it means still push yourself responsibly. On this side, I'm not going to come all the way up, you guys, because I want to tap into more of this oblique on this side because I'm feeling too much low back. So I'm going to stay down a little bit to help me get into this oblique a little bit. Rip. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what's funny? I forgot the second exercise, so watch this. We're going to do it now. Put a leg up on something. Here, I'm going to make it harder for myself. That way you can see me better. Straight up, straight down. Yeah, back foot is just on something stationary, couch, ottoman, chair, ball, if you can do this. Whew. How did I forget this one? Man, loser. Oh, well, guess what? We're going to burn it out there, people. 
I don't know what this is, but I'm going to say if I can. And then last one, or not, switchies. Sometimes it just helps to get started. Thanks y'all for joining, coming by. Getting a little peek into some home mountain bike training, a little golf athlete training in general. Heart rate's going up for me, climbing towards 80% here. Okay, now we go to crunch. Roll it. I'm going to go down, coming up. See, I can tell when I'm tired because I can't do a very good full crunch. And generally, I'm pretty good at these. If you missed the front, front of, the, of the session, <clears throat> this is day five for me. So I'm sore and tired, but did it to myself. Remember too, brings up a point. You can be tired from a muscular standpoint, just physical fatigue. You can also be tired from a mental standpoint. And then you can be tired of both. Tired of after like a race or a competition or a really intense training session. Um, so beware of that. Okay, uh, let's go back to leg. Second set of these. Start with the same leg that you ended with on that last set. A little burnage. Three, four, five, six. See if I can make it a little harder on myself. And that way I use my foot and ankle more. Come on, you guys. What's up, gang? Thanks for coming by. If you're watching this on YouTube later, I've got Facebook Live and Instagram running. That's why you hear me keep talking to my peeps. Come on, glute, quad, everything's working here. Balance, stability, coordination, a nice symphony of brain to muscle to ligament through the fascia, all coordinating together to create this move. Okay, quick rest. Eric, Arturo, Crawler. Who else we got? Sarah, thanks for joining. Uh, so that was three of the side planks and the sacrum crunch. We got one more of these. One more leggy legs. Let's just do it now, just to make it hurt. Watch this. If you can, let's go quick. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, burnage, switch. Whoops. Oh, golly. Come on. Go. One, two, three, four, and five, six. Come on. Twelve. Okay, into workout, people, but don't go anywhere. We got some good stretching doing. All right. That should have burned a little bit. What up, dog mans? Todd Park, how are you, man? Eric Mendez. <coughs> okay, a couple of key ones, starting with a hip flexor, so as myofascial stretch. We do this one constantly. If you have back pain, you have to do this one because the psoas attaches to every lumbar segment of the lumbar spine, including the disc. 
Okay, so pay attention, peeps. What I want you to do is get into kind of a, a 110 angle of the knee. Okay, now watch my back leg. You'll see my shin pop out. Pop your shin out, kick your ankle to the floor. That might make you fall over. Most people it does. From here, I'm gonna show you sideways. From here, I want you to dump water a lot out the back, as much as you can get. Tuck the pelvis underneath you. You can see the angle on my shirt change. From here, I'm gonna put my elbow on my, or my forearm on my leg, round it over where a heart rate strap would be. Okay, or ladies under your bra strap almost. You round over and you tuck more. Then we go Spider-Man, reach. All of those things are still working. And then I can move forward if you can. My left knee is moving and encroaching over my left toe, tucking my butt. I'm reaching my Spider-Man. The crown of my head is going to the ceiling, still tucking my butt, still reaching. I can't creep anymore, so I stop. Still pushing my right ankle bone to the floor, still working my head to the crown of the head to the ceiling, still breathing, and then we slowly come out. When we switch, we do the other side. You're welcome for stretching, says an older guy like me. <laughs> All we can do here, people, as we get older is to make sure we were born filet mignon. As we age and get way older, that's like beef jerky. If we can maintain some, some good uh, ribeye action and then even some, some uh, flank steak, we're good. But you got to fight for it. Okay, same knee angle. Push the bottom, angle, or bottom leg out. Ankle down, tuck the butt. Okay, tuck the butt. Roll over that stern. Forearm on the quad. External rotation like Spider-Man. Crown of the head. Reach with the Spider-Man. Keep tucking your butt and start to move forward if you can. If you can't, you just keep tucking your butt. And feel that, the abs. You're gonna feel the glute pop to make sure you can tuck that pelvis. Keep pushing your lateral ankle bone to the floor. Keep reaching. I adjust my head there. Keep breathing. Whoop, my left side's tighter today. And relax. Oh yeah. Now, watch this. I'm gonna put my leg up on a bench you can do the same on a chair or whatever you want. But essentially we're going here. Okay, straight leg. Hips are facing the down leg. Body facing that way, okay? So everything's square. From here I'm gonna hinge forward, okay? I'm gonna hinge forward. Back is flat, chest is up. My toe is pulled in. Oh, how many of you just went, oh! I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so pulling that toe in. <clears throat> now watch. So I'm gonna turn my upper body towards my leg, which is to my right. That should hit a little bit of going out to the right, side calf, kind of the lateral hamstring. I feel this more in my medial calf because I've, I've actually pulled that medial calf before and it's tight right now. Oh, golly. Now watch, now I'm gonna turn away, but I'm still pulling in, and I'm gonna go down further. Now we'll hit a little bit more of the medial hamstring and medial calf. Oh, good job. Okay, switch. <laughs> Linda says, advantage of doing online workout, failing and nobody can see it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, other side, same thing. Hip hinge, chest is up, toe is in. <clears throat> you might feel it different on one side than the other. And that's, especially if you downhill or you enduro or you mountain bike ride, you're gonna feel it in the front leg versus the back leg in different places. Back leg will be more hip flexor, uh, calf. Uh, upper glute, lower back. The front leg for me is my left. You're gonna feel that more in this upper hamstring area. For sure, more adductor too, okay? 
Turn towards, lean forward. Is that Dress Becker? I can't see. Q33, Flatland, free, thank you. Okay, now open up, go lower. You can push that butt, butt away a little bit too. One thing you can think about is pushing your butt away from your heel. Heel's pushing this way, butt's going away. Almost like you're trying to dislocate your hip. Okay, now back to the mat. Get on all fours. And from here, we're going leg out. Okay, leg out, push your butt back. And then we're gonna reach under, slide the hand under, exhale. Inhale, exhale, push the butt back and the ankle away. So I'm pushing my hip bone down and my ankle away while turning. Getting some spiral tension going on between the upper lower body and the inner thigh, all that fascial line. Switch. You keep leaning forward or step halfway. Uh, you keep leaning forward or stop halfway. Uh, you would stop on that hamstring. That's the question on that hamstring. You would only lean as far forward as you could keep your lower back flat. As soon as you, you lose your hip hinge and you begin to use your lumbar spine, you lose your hamstring stretch. <sighs> Come on, push that ankle down, reach. Oh gosh, that feels good. Okay, glute max, deep glute, last one. Lay on your back, cross one leg over the other. I'm gonna start with this one this time. My left ankle's on my right knee. If you can grab your right knee, great. If you can grab behind your, your knee, that's fine too. But here, turn both feet out, head is down, chin is tucked. The, the game or the fight here is to push your tailbone to the floor while you're gently pushing your leg or pulling your legs towards your chest. Neither one is gonna go very far at all because you're gonna feel this battle. And keeping your tailbone to the floor is going to really help us hit those deep glute fibers. Feet are turned out. Remember with each of these myofascial stretches, switch sides. You want to hold for 30 seconds. It's not a hold though, because we're actively working. Feet out, sacrum down, and then pull gently. 30 seconds each. The first set, because you want to do three sets of each, is 30% effort. The second set is 60% effort. The third set is 90% effort. So if you do these four stretches three times in a row with that type of uh, relax intensity, you're gonna see a big difference. So that's how we do myofascial stretches. Galen, Joseph, hopefully that answered your question there. See Nikit. Okay, gang, thank you so much. Insta, you got 20 seconds left. Uh, info at enduromtbtraining.com if you have any questions. Check out our new site. Uh, we got a GoFundMe uh, page over there to help. Since I haven't worked in eight weeks, that'd be great for if you can. Uh, over website.com backslash blog. See you guys. Facebook, what's the happenings? Any questions, issues? Later, people. Let me know if I can help you guys in any way. Info at enduromtbtraining.com. See you next time.